Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the 2023 version of the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 GA402. You have to undo 11 Phillips head screws if you want to have a look at the internals of this notebook. The bottom right one is captive, and it will slightly raise the bottom panel so you can start to pop the plate from there. The three screws in the middle have a small rubber cap on the top, so you have to remove it first with a flathead screwdriver. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The battery is a 76 watt hour model. If you want to take it out, unplug the connector from the main board. One of the two screws that is fixing the battery in place is positioned below the SSD, so you have to remove it in order to detach the battery. So there is just one M.2 slot for 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. There is a cooling pad beneath the NVMe. Now we can safely undo the two screws. The capacity is enough for 20 hours of web browsing or 10 hours of video playback. The result is very good for a gaming laptop. Part of the memory is soldered, but there is one SODOM slot. The maximum possible amount of memory is 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 4800 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. Here we have a vapor chamber cooling solution. Its components are hidden, so let's have a sneak peek. First, you have to remove the two protective stickers on the heat sinks. Then, you have to unplug the connector on the left and slightly lift the other one as well. The next step is to undo the eight captive Phillips head screws that are fixing the cooling to the base. With that out of the way, undo the two Phillips heads above the two heat pipes. Lastly, you have to remove the two fans as well, so you need to undo two pairs of Phillips head screws.
Then you have to carefully raise the lower part of the cooling and lift it away from the motherboard. There is liquid metal on the CPU die and thermal paste on the GPU chip. We can also see pre-applied soft thermal interface material, also known as thermal putty, for the other components such as the GPU memory chips. The vapor chamber system is massive. It has a large cooling area in the middle, one heat pipe dedicated to each chip, and four big heat sinks.